from kindness to brutality I've gone down somewhat of a morbid road there are these spiders they are beautiful and they are everywhere big webs big communities and when I say they're everywhere I mean everywhere I just keep seeing them and seeing them the other thing I see is a lot of roadkill of the bug variety and so <laughs> boredom has kind of got me trying to locate some semi-alive roadkill of the bug variety and then tossing it in the webs <laughs> I did it a couple of times although it's not like must-see TV it has its moments <laughs> it's funny I like to anthropomorphize the, the the spiders you know like they're sitting in their web waiting holy moly and then a juicy caterpillar or something big just jumps into their into their realm how lucky is that okay like this this is a praying mantis roadkill let's find a spider to feed it to this is fairly new shouldn't take long to find a spider to feed it to and then let's see but those spiders just think what's going through their little spider brain they're sitting down waiting it's like fishing you know you gotta sit set out the net set out the line and then you wait sometimes you wait forever sometimes you get a little gnat sometimes you get a a wasp but <laughs> on this day a big smorgasbord just lands in your lap don't even have to kill it let's see if we can find a big dude that'll appreciate a catch such as this i literally do not even have to leave the trike in order to do this so uh here's our suspect he's actually not too big he will appreciate it nonetheless okay let's drop in the praying mantis Oh, shit. Well, that was a failed experiment. Hello. I, uh, I lost the bait. Fell over the edge. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll catch you later if, if we end up doing this again. I think the trick to this is finding webs that aren't like vertical. The web has to be sort of like flat, like a basket. And then you can drop whatever you want into the basket. I was trying to drop it into the web, but it just bounced off like a trampoline. Useless endeavors. <laughs> well, not useless to the spider. All right, guys, let's try this again. I have a cricket that I found in the road. So without further ado, let's get this over with. I got a lot, I got a lot to do today. Holy moly, look at the size of that thing. Gosh. That's the biggest one I've seen almost. You're gonna get a feast today, buddy. Okay, let's see if we can do this, huh? I will tell you that this cricket is not 100% dead. He will put up a fight. Come on, buddy, get him. Right, we got a little action. One of the uh, one of the smaller guys is going in. I think the smaller ones are the dudes. So she's like, "You get in there, make sure there's no booby traps." Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's moving out. I think he's on the wrong side of the of the web. That's the problem. She's she's got to get on the other side. That cricket's just laying low. Well, this is anticlimactic. There we go. Took you long enough. Pretty soon she's gonna go in for the kill. Kill shot. There she goes. The 
kill shot. Okay, now that I have officially freaked all you uh, arachnophobes out, just to let you know, I'm an arachnophobe too. Part of this therapy. <laughs> but anyways, all right, done with that project. I have to get on the road. I'd probably like to watch him wrap that guy up, but I li literally do not have time. So let's jayo this thing and keep on keeping on. <laughs> 